Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Kia and today's video is geared more so towards my petite female friends and clients who uh, are smaller than my or shorter than my towering 5'10 stature who are uh, in that 130 pound and lower weight range who are looking to lose some fat. So to lose fat uh, in that weight range, you're going to have to go with lower calories than most people given the fact that you're uh, smaller. That's just a smaller body burns less calories, so you're going to have to intake in less calories. And also given the fact that most of you lead somewhat sedentary lifestyles. So you get up in the morning, you get in your car, you drive to work, you get out of the car, you sit at work, and then you get you, you finish at work, you sit back in the car, go home, maybe eat something, and then sit back on the couch or go to bed. Now, some of you work out two, three, maybe four times a week, and that's maybe four hours of activity throughout the week. That's still not a whole lot, and uh, you still need to that's that four hours isn't going to create huge um, calorie burn so you're gonna have to make up for it with your diet so for a period of time you're gonna have to go on a lower calorie diet and it's gonna be closer to that 1200 sometimes lower calorie uh, diet and intake not forever but for a while to get rid of that fat so a lot of you are maybe worried about this 1200 and lower calorie range thinking oh my god I'm gonna die if I eat that much um, well, I'm going to show you what that could look like in terms of the amount of food that you could actually eat and feel pretty satisfied. And obviously this is going to be on your non-exercise days. On your exercise days, you eat a little bit more to give yourself that fuel to actually hit the gym hard and work those muscles and, and all that good stuff. So I've created, I've got a meal here to get put together. That's 300 calories. Um, and if you eat this four times a day, you would get 1200 calories. And a lot of you, this for a lot of you, this would actually seem like a lot of food. And you're like, oh, I couldn't even stomach that. So let's go through it. I don't know if you guys can see from down here, so I'm going to bring it up. This is one cup of egg whites and two cucumbers. That itself is quite a bit of food. That's going to fill up your stomach pretty nice. But we got to get some carbs in. Um, fruits are good. So a cup of blueberries. And why not get some more fat and a couple more grams of protein. So, you know, a small handful of nuts here that's gonna give you just over 300 calories maybe 320 so if you eat like that four times a day that'll get you close to 1200 calories you can probably see that it's not very little food it's gonna fill you up pretty well and on the days that you exercise you can add more carbs in get more calories so you can work out harder so hopefully that puts things into perspective for you because uh, without actually having a picture of how to plan a day and how to plan an eating uh, regiment or how to uh, meal prep for, for a few days, it can uh, get somewhat daunting and it'll put off your um, put off your intentions of actually implementing this action. So now that you have a visual, you can maybe play around with uh, other varieties of how you would kind of go through making a meal plan. So, I mean, you could use any, any fruit here instead of my, my cup of fruit here, you could have another whole fruit like an apple or orange. Um, anything that's roughly that size, protein wise, pretty much any other meat, uh, tofu, Greek yogurt, whatever you want to go with, even uh, some protein powder and your fats could be nuts, could be a piece of cheese, whatever you, you kind of feel like for that day. So hope this helps and uh, I'll see you next time.